section we will be doing factoring by grouping and we want to get right into that right now there's a process in what we go to and so obviously factoring is going to be considered to, to continue doing what we were working on before where we're going to be looking for common factors the greatest common factor but by grouping we're going to take four terms so this is a four term polynomial as we've been working with polynomials in the last chapter we're going to take this four-term polynomial, and we're going to group it. We're going to put the first two, two, first two terms together and the second two terms together, and then we're going to do factoring from there. So there's a few steps here. So the first step is going to be this. Step one is group first two and second two. First two and second two. Now, very important, make sure, make sure a plus sign is in the middle. And you will see some examples where that is absolutely essential. A plus sign is in the middle. So we're going to make sure that a plus sign is in the middle. So now we're going to go from there, and then part three will be factor. And then part four will be factor again. Now you're going to see exactly what I mean by that. Here's, the, here's our four steps. Group the first two and second two. So I'm going to go just like this, and I'm going to group the first two and second two. So when I group the first two and second two, it's going to look this way, group the first two, and then group the second two. So I did step one. Now, step two says make sure a plus sign is in the middle. Well, there's my plus sign in the middle. You'll see some examples where that doesn't happen and how to put one in in just a few minutes. Next is factor. Now, what we say here by factoring is to actually factor each set of parentheses, and then we're going to factor it again, and I'll show you what that looks like. So to start by factoring, like we did in the last section, the factors of 25 will be 5 times 5, x to the third power will be x times x times x, and then plus 5x to the second power, the factors of 5 is just going to be 5, and then we have x times x. Now, that's my first group, so I'm still in parentheses there. And then I'm going to come right over here to the second group and write down the factors, because we're going to do this right at the same time. The factors of 30 are going to be 2 times 3 times 5 in my x, plus my factors of 6, which are going to be 2 times 3, and I'm keeping that plus sign in the middle. So I still have my parentheses. What we're going to do now is look to see what do these have in common, like we did in the last section, where you can see that there is a 5 in common in this first group, and there are also two x's. So I have a 5 and 2x's in the first group. Now, if I look right over here to the second group, what I see they have in common is they both have a 2 and a 3. And if you notice, I'm doing these separately. That's why I have parentheses around. So I'm factoring in the first set of parentheses. I'm also looking for the greatest common factors in the second set of parentheses. So now we're going to write down what that looks like. This is our first time through factoring. What they have in common in the first set of parentheses is going to be 5x and an x. And then look at what's left over, a 5 and an x. Plus, I took everything out, so there's just a 1 left over. Remember, factoring is dividing, and a factor is just a, where we do division, and there's a, there's a re, it actually goes in evenly with no remainder. Now, if it divides completely into itself, it divides in one time. So if I look over here now, I'm going to see that I factored the first set, and I'm going to factor on this set, and I look and see I have my plus sign. I have a 2 and a 3 in common, so that comes out. And what's left over is the 5 and the x plus, since I took everything out here, factored it out or divided it out, there's a 1 left over. So here's what that looks like. That looks like 5x to the second power times 5x plus 1. And then I have 2 times 3, which is 6, times 5x plus 1. Now we're at step 4, factor again. Well, why would I factor again? Well, I'm going to factor again because if you notice, now they have 5x plus 1 in common. So because they have 5x plus 1 in common, I actually can factor that out. 5x plus 1 is what they have in common. And now look what's left over is 5x squared plus 6. Now, if I took 5x plus 1 and multiplied it by 5x squared plus 6, like we've done in other sections using the bow tie method of multiplication, we would end up with 25x to the third power plus 5x to the second plus 30x plus 6. We are continuing, like we did in the last section, to undo the distributive property. In this case, we're actually undoing a binomial times a binomial. 
So now you've seen the first part of this. We're going to do a lot of examples in this section, and then you'll be off doing coursework. It would be a great idea to go ahead and print out your coursework and be working on the coursework while you're watching this portion of the DVD so that you can see as we're doing examples, follow along, and you'll see how to do these as we go. It's a great way to do coursework to do it while you're watching the, the notes as well. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So now we're going to factor 12x squared a plus 3x squared b plus 28y plus 7yb. Now if you notice right now, none of those are like terms. It is a four-term polynomial like in the last one, but nothing is the same. But you can kind of see there's some things in common, like these are both have an x squared in common. So let's go right to it. Remember, the first thing we're going to do is this, is we're going to group together the first two and the second two, just like that, and then we're going to factor. Make sure there's a plus sign in the middle of step two. So we've done that. Now let's factor. 12 is going to be 2 times 2 times 3 as we practiced with our prime factors. Then we have x squared is x times x, and then we have an a. We have plus 3, which is going to just be a 3, and then we have x times x and a b. That's our first set of parentheses. We're going to come over to the second set, keeping that plus sign in the middle. 28 is going to be 2 times 2 times 7, and then we have y times a plus we have 7, y, and b. Well, now we want to look to see what they have in common. So if I look to see what they have in common, what I notice in the first set is I have a 3 and a 3, and there are two x's. So that's what they have in common in my first set of parentheses. In the second set of parentheses, they both have a 7, and they both have a y. Okay, well, now let's look and see how that looks when we do our first round of factoring. What this first set of parentheses has in common is a 3, and an x and an x, and look what's left over, a 2, 2, and a, so 2 times 2 times a, plus just a b left over. When I look over here, what they have in common is they both had a 7 and a y in common, and notice my plus sign is still there. My 7 and y are in common, and what's left over is 2 times 2 times a, plus the b. Now, do you notice how those are the same? That is how we do factoring by grouping, is we actually want them to be the same. Now let's see, what do we actually have? Well, 3 times x times x is 3x to the second power, or 3x squared. 2 times 2 times a is 4a, plus our b, plus we have 7y, and again we have 4a plus b. How we know that this is working is the second set that I get actually has something in common, our what's in parentheses are in common. And if you notice now, I'm going to factor again. This is when we say factor again. Well, to factor again, since this term and this term, by the way, this is an entire term because it's not separated by the plus sign until here, even though this plus sign is inside the parentheses. We've talked about the difference between terms and not terms. This is one entire term, and it has in common with this second term a 4a plus b. So we're going to take that out, and what's left over is 3x squared plus 7y, as you see the 3x squared and the 7y is left over. This is now factored. <laughs>